little more before I go. Okay, so time for Hogsmeade. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Okay. I have to wonder if um, the two people you get change based on your dorm. I, I feel like the answer is no, but it would honestly be rather cool if it did. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Why really? I move? Yes, I had planned there to extend go. an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. Revelio. The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Although it does help them look at the thing while you're staring. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Ooh. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Fair enough. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, over here. Oh, what's up? I often spot lace wing flags. Rebellion. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Is there something over here? Rebellion. Got me some moonstone, boy. <laughs> Time to evolve that Clefable. Sorry, Clefairy. Clefable is the evolved one. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Huh. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Revelio. Likely already named them too. Prompt. Dang it. What the heck is going on? There. Uh, this is gonna be one of those games. So I've gotta enable that setting. That's the forbidden Hello. forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think they're calling it dangerous. Only the school are luring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Revelio. Over here. Might as well collect materials when I'm going by. First! Let me also. Back here. Okay. Oh, there's a. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about it me looks than I nice, thought. I will say, those while I certainly learn like a great deal in class, too... much can be gleaned outside of the castle too walls. Fast for the carriage, in my opinion. Rebellion. 
hope she's bought me a new beater's back. We're bound to have Quidditch next year. Yeah. My family loves going for Quidditch. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that I had my arrival in the stream. Accio. Everything okay, so was no, you so cannot Accio new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Lumos. Hogwarts has something of a homeland, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Nice to have all the cats around, but where's a good dog when you need one? I shrug my mother one. I do. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, mm. guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I would say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Professor McGonagall's haircut. And here we are. It is hard to know where to Rebellion. start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Jukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Not sure how I'm going to shop at Coldplay. Where's my tall path? Okay. Oh. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay. Oh, wow. That is... Rebellion. Merlin, blooming beard, not a gem. Let's get my wand. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Hmm, 
Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Oh, yes. Here. I'm Give this famously one a try. known for my ten and a half inches. Wink. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Whoa. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. I'm even more known for being Let's 13, give this one a try. 13 and 3 fourth inches. Wink. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Okay. Yes. This one 20 I inches? Think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Intriguing. Curious indeed. Oh, each of them has their own separate thing. I didn't see the thing off to the side there. Ooh, I like that one. How intriguing. Far leaning to that one. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Okay, yeah. Thinking that one. Curious indeed. And a half How intriguing. Um, I guess maple. Absolutely, oh, yes, must be stiff. very much a utility person like when I played Dark Souls 3 I did a intelligence faith strength dexterity build <laughs> I literally did all of it ah phoenix feather exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative what do you think and it's like oh that's I can totally see what some people think. Oh, that's not Extraordinary. really possible. It'd be so unfocused. <laughs> not if I do another everything Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I mean, we never saw Ollivander from the Harry Potter films again, so probably not. Good number of appearances in Harry Potter films. Rebellion. with you, sir.
talk to you. Okay, apparently I can't sell yet. I guess I'll just... Told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deerical around here. I know we're not supposed to go down. But... I'm just trying to practice. I better go one. Okay. Revelio. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating that art potion making? So much like that was an anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. You it may really not be show your spell work, but make no mistake, supplies. they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and Wait, I unveil new ones from time I to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, I'm let's get you those recipes, shall we? I've never heard that word. What can pronounced. I do for you today? Yeah. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay. Yeah. Finally stop. Oh. I think I might have sold something I didn't mean to. Oh well. Visibility potion. Maxima potion. Spell damage. Powerful damage potion. Your spell cooldown. I think the invisibility would be more useful long term, so I'll pick that one up quick. And I'm gonna hold off for now. Rebellion. Orange Eye of Newt Goggles? What?
Okay, I'm wearing that. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell class. I can't get over how stupid thought. those goggles look. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Okay. Is that your beast's favorite toy? Okay. Can I draw a chopping station? Oh, yeah, that sounds very useful. Unlock the ability to conjure. Okay. Let's conjure a table. Material refiner. Okay. This type of magical little pot will periodically brew a randomly selected potion. Okay. Do does it just use random materials, or does it just create the potion out of nothing? Two medium pots, three medium pots, three small pots, okay. I think I'll hold off for now. Okay. Revelio. I honestly don't want to walk around in pajamas.
When you find a good opportunity. Oh, I was thinking I could maybe take some of those. Ooh. Magical trimming. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. Okay. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dickney seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Revelio. Don't mind me, just gonna steal from you. Akio. Oh, that, I was not even aiming at that. Revelio. Can you come back the puppy out? 